profoundly serious fire. We've had uh, big fires in the past. This is one of the biggest, the most serious, and it's not over. Uh, just the recitation of all the manpower and, and uh, resources, it's a lot. And it has to be a lot because we have people living in communities and cities in very developed situations that are connected to and very close to forests and uh, brush and all the rest of it that becomes kindling. So uh, that's the way it is uh, with a warming climate and dry weather and reducing moisture. Uh, these kind of catastrophes have happened, they'll continue to happen, and we have to be prepared to do everything we can uh, to mitigate. Uh, it's going to cost a lot of money. The president has declared uh, disaster, major disaster, uh, and along with the other ones in Texas and Florida and uh, elsewhere. What people don't see every day is we are initially attacking many, many new fires that start that we put out at a small acreage. So these resources are not only fighting the big fires, we are trying to keep every other fire in the state small so it doesn't consume other resources. And so all of this is actively going on and we're having, we're having success across the state. It's just obviously been very small and incremental on these large and challenging fires. At this point, trying to speculate on any cause uh, is premature and also impacts our ability to get uh, to the bottom of the investigation. We want to know what the causes are so we can prevent those in the future. But at this point, it's way too early to talk about it. Our primary efforts focused on stopping this fire and protecting lives. We do, however, have investigators spread across all of these fires uh, actively working uh, on the, the causes.